First on Fox. My girlfriend was standing right here when he shot up the stairs. It skimmed across his wall. And the pellets all went through the ceiling. A Hermitage family becomes shooting targets while three robbers gun for the victim's money. Right now, one of the victims, Kayla Bush, waits to face the suspects in court. Fox 17's Michaela Lewis joins us now with the experience that put this family face to face with their burglars in their home. And this was just a few days ago. Michaela. Well, Erica, this is very disturbing to not only the homeowner, but also his family that lived here. Metro police say that David Williams and Randall Gilmore are recovering tonight after Kayla Bush shot them in self defense while. The pair broke in with Gilmore's wife into his home. Bush also heard is not only trying to move on from this event, but move away from it happening again. Just discretion to our viewers, the images you're about to see and some of the things you're about to hear may be disturbing. They say home is where the heart is. Look at the table. That's in a hotel right now for Caleb Bush's family. Well, you're in your own home, you feel safe. That comfort is gone after late Friday night. Pulling up to his Hermitage house, the 21 year old says David Williams and Randall and Kelly Gilmore began pulling away. It seemed kind of sketchy, so we just called someone over to hang out with us. Came over, he was just playing Call of Duty. Little did Bush and his friend Landon Parks know while playing the virtual combat game upstairs, they would endure a real life war zone on the home front with unwelcome guests knocking. As I opened the door, someone hit me in the face with a shotgun. I grabbed the shotgun as I fell down and we wrestled with it. And my girlfriend was standing right here when he shot up the stairs. It skimmed across his wall. And the pellets all went through the ceiling. Park says he began loading a gun upstairs and put Bush's girlfriend, two-year-old and two-month-old baby in the closet while Bush made his way to the room. He was all bleeding and everything. And I was like, are you all right? You all right? He's like, man, I think I got shot. And then they kicked the door while I was standing behind it. And then I was like, Caleb, get him. I tossed him the gun. It went through his chest and through the dude's arm and through this wall and all the way into my son's closet. According to police, after fleeing the scene, Williams hit in the shoulder and 34-year-old Gilmore shot in the chest, sought treatment at Skyline Medical Center, where Bush was getting staples in his head wound. It's a repeat nightmare on Misty Cape Cove. Bush had nearly $8,000 stolen from a previous break-in. He buys TVs in bulk and sells them online. Police say Kelly Gilmore tried to steal one. Somebody trying to come and take your stuff and you're trying to make a, you know, honest living. I mean, it's just sad. Bushville's anything but for shooting the alleged intruders. No, they put my kids in danger and it was just the only thing I could do. Michaela Lewis, Fox 17 News. Metro police say that Gilmore is being treated at Vanderbilt Medical Center and upon his release, he'll, he will be charged with two counts of aggravated assault and one count of especially aggravated bur burglary. His wife and also Williams will face the same charges. Now, Caleb Bush says he plans to run his business out of a warehouse or a storefront so this doesn't happen again. Michaela Lewis, Fox 17 News.